Hiya, my name is Ruby and I am 16 years old. I live in Brighton and I am so pumped to be here today at Girl Got Faith um, and I'm going to be talking about dreaming. Not like a daydream that you have in a maths lesson when you're learning about algebra, we all know how that feels, but about dreaming big and what that looks like. Doesn't that sound exciting? We're going to look in a book called Genesis. Um, it's about, it's going to be about a guy called Joseph and he was a guy who was favoured by God as he could literally interpret dreams like nobody else. His brothers became jealous of him because their dad loved Joseph so much that they gave him a technicolour dream coat. Okay, that's another level, isn't it? They sold him as a servant to a guy, a rich man called Potiphar. He was a guy that loved Joseph and made him in charge of everything that he owned. And then Potiphar's wife manipulated Joseph, saying that he slept with him. So then Potiphar, Potiphar threw Joseph in the prison. Okay, a lot has happened right now. This is like actually crazy. But this is the bit that I want us to focus on, the prison bit. He's in prison for no reason could you imagine. But the beautiful thing is that in Genesis 39 verse 21 it says, but the Lord was with Joseph in the prison and showed his faithful love. Didn't lockdown feel like a prison? Only going for one hour of exercise every day, not being able to see our friends and family, Zoom fatigue, online school, online work, it basically wasn't fun, was it? But when I look at life, Joseph's life in prison, I see it as a place where God showed up. He never stopped using Joseph with his gifts of interpreting dreams, and he will never stop using you. And you see, even though he was in a place that he didn't want to be, he never stopped dreaming, nor did he change himself to fit in with the other prisoners. How often do we change the way we speak, change the way we act, change, change the way we talk to fit in with our friends? You see, we're called to stand out. We're, we're called to celebrate our differences because our differences are so sick. And we've got to celebrate that and be like, yes, that girl's got red hair. And yes, that girl's got yellow, yellow hair. And that is amazing. So we've got to celebrate that. But also, I just want to say that if you're ever in a position where you don't feel comfortable or where you don't feel like totally yourself, never feel that you have to justify yourself with your friends, but be honest with yourself. Because I, the worst thing is when you're in a place when you're like, oh, I don't want to be here. So be honest with yourself and don't justify yourself. Lockdown wasn't the easiest, but there are some things to be grateful for. Um, but I think it's so, so important um, to remember that the wilderness is not a place of weakness, but a place of strength. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, it says, My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in weakness. This means that God is enough. His grace, his joy, his wisdom is enough. And in those moments when you've got all this rot, that's the moments when we sing a bit louder. Those are the moments when we pray a bit louder. Those are the moments when we draw a bit nearer because God is so good and he wants to have a relationship with you. He's like, come to me. He's like, I want to get to know you. I want to have a relationship with you. Because in those broken bits, those are the moments that God connects with us. Those are the moments where we grow and mature and become better people. Are you with me? But even though lockdown wasn't the easiest, what did you enjoy? What did you learn about yourself? Any new hobbies? What did you learn about God? You see, while Joseph was in the prison, he started interpreting dreams of all the other prisoners. And, he, and even though he was in a place that he didn't want to be, he still helped those around him. It's easy to be so selfish when life isn't going our way, but it's so important to remember there is always a chance to encourage, laugh, cry with someone, because we all need that, don't we? The world needs you. The world needs you, Annabelle. The world needs you, Sophia. The world needs you, Hannah. The world needs you, Ruth. The world needs you, Ellie. The world needs you, Tilly. The world needs you, Millie. So I just encourage you to go, go 
give a card to a friend, go text a friend, go call a friend because we need community, we need, we need people um, to keep speaking into our lives. But it also it, remember that the Lord is with us in the prison and that he will show us his faithful love to us every day. Before I end, I want to ask you, what stops you from dreaming up your future? Is it the fear that you're going to get everything wrong? Is it the fear that life's not going to turn out the way you want it? I just want to say that it doesn't matter if, it's, if life is not going to turn out your way. It doesn't matter if it's going to look different because those are the moments where you learn stuff. Those are the moments where you learn things that you like and th things that you don't like. So take take on those moments and listen to them and see what you learn in those moments because those moments are so so precious but also we can take a chill pill because Jeremiah 29 verse 11 it says for I have plans for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future this means that we can take the pressure off to be perfect pressure off to be perfect because life isn't perfect and it never will be but it's about glorifying Jesus through our speech and through our actions because that is all that matters. So let God take control and let's enjoy life. One thing I would love for each of us to do in these next couple of days is to go to coffee with God. This is kind of metaphorical, but basically what this means is pour your heart out to God. Tell him all the things that you're worried about. Tell him all the things that you're loving. Tell him all the things that you're hating. Tell him all the things that you're just so excited about. Because remember, he wants to, he wants to have a relationship with you. He loves you. He sees you. He's proud of you for going through lockdown. And he's with you in the prison. So never think that you're alone. And also, ask God for any dreams that he's put on your heart that you've suppressed to put to suppress to, um, to fit in with society um, but do you want to be a Joseph that is never dependent on where life is at but is always exercising dreaming and being themselves I do let's pray yeah Lord Jesus we thank you for who you are we thank you that we have this beautiful gift of dreaming and what we can dream big we've got a heart that to, to help us to learn dream big so Lord may you bless every heart that is on this video Lord right now may you bless their day may you bless their conversations and I pray for joy I pray for authenticity over your guys lives so Jesus we thank you for who you are amen thanks so much for watching this video and if you loved it if you'd like some more head over to my channel it's called Ruby Smith come and have a chat with me gonna share some thoughts every now and then um, but for now subscribe um, because Girl Got Faith is amazing so join the journey and yeah see you soon bye